That quote right there from Pogba is the reason why Man United is nowhere near the top. And it's the reason why they're in mediocrity. But I think it tells you more about Paul Pogba because he's only interested in doing his thing. The Paul Pogba saga continues. It's been bugging me this quote over the last couple of days. And I know it's a couple of days old, but it's, as a Man United fan, it's really, really been bugging me just sitting on this. So I want to talk about it. All right. Now, I want to give this proper context, this quote. I don't want to mishap anything, so I'm going to read it to you, just in case you've been living under the rock. This is what he said across the weekend while playing for France at a press conference. All footballers would love to play for Real Madrid. It is a dream for me. Why not one day? But I am in Manchester and I love my club. I perform in Manchester. I have fun. I want to do everything to put the club back where it deserves to be. What? That quote right there from Pogba is the reason why Man United is nowhere near the top. And it's the reason why they're in mediocrity, in my opinion. Look, my issue isn't with Pogba, believe it or not, coming from that quote. All right? It's more, my issue is more with Man United. All right? The standards at this football club have fallen dramatically. Dramatically. For me, this is almost as bad as it gets. Look, I'm not trying to be over dramatic or anything like that. I'm just a lifelong fan who has been there through the highs and the lows. All right. I've seen some great players in my time and I've seen a lot of shit ones. All right. Look, the, then I'll, I'll tell you why this is as bad as it gets. All right. Because the morale of the club is down. All right. We all know this. We didn't get the transfers we wanted. There's a lot of hate between the fans. Half the fans are Ollie in, Ole out. We just got smashed by Spurs. It's a shambles at the minute, all right? And Pogba knows this, and he's probably feeling just as upset as the fans are that we didn't get the transfers, that we got smashed by Spurs. He's hurting on the inside. I get that, all right? But unfortunately, Pogba is a leader of this football club. And not just a leader, a lot of the players, if not all of them, look up to him. He's one of, if not the best player for Man United. And he's, and if he's not the best player, he is definitely cemented 100% the most expensive player this club has ever spent money on. Man United as a club have invested a whole heap into Paul Pogba. And I get it, he's upset. But to come out and to publicly, publicly say that you dream to play for Real Madrid, okay? I don't give a shit what you say after that, all right? You came out and expressed your desire that one day, why not? It's your dream to play for Real Madrid. For me, that is just not acceptable. And it's the fundamental reason why Manchester United is nowhere near the top and won't be for any time soon. Let me ask you a question. If Fergie was around now, how would he handle the situation? How would Fergie have held the situation, Pogba coming out publicly saying it's his dream to move to Real Madrid? I, I, find, I find that hilarious because let me tell you about a bloke, refresh your memory, I should say, about a bloke called Gabriel Henze, all right? He was the, so Matt Busby, 2005 Player of the Year for Man United. All right, we all know him. He was a gun of a left back. In fact, probably at the time, he was probably the second best left back in the Premier League to Ashley Cole. All right? But he came out and stated that he wanted to play for Liverpool. Gone. Without a blink of an eye, he was gone. All right, now he wasn't the only one. All right, there's been many a players down the line Carlos Tevez, <sighs> Ruud van Nistelrooy, Yep, Stam. I can go on and on and on and on and on. Sir Alex Ferguson knows what it requires to be champions, he knows that the mentality of the team needs to be the team first. Every champion team has a team first mentality. It's not rocket science. Who's the champions now? 
Klopp, Liverpool, Bielsa, Leeds. Look at that team, both of them. No one's bigger than the club. If a player is pulled from that team, another player knows their role. All right, nobody is bigger than the club at those teams. Nobody. You'd be gone. Those teams have a team first mentality. And it's proven. You can see it in the football. And I get it. Oh, Curtis, you're being over dramatic. He said how much he loves Man United and all that. Yeah. Who's, who's Liverpool's best player? Mo Salah. If Mo Salah came out on a press conference with Egypt and said, one day I dream of playing for Bayern Munich or Barcelona, whoever, <laughs> Klopp, Hello. see you later. He just would not stand for it. It just would not happen. Why? Because Jurgen Klopp's standards and Liverpool standards are up here. And that's why they're champions. And this is where I'm, this is where I'm pissed off with Pogba because I've been defending him as a Man United fan ever since day one. All right. Probably a little bit too much. Okay. Look, it's not his fault. The price tag was so high. I've defended him for that for the, over the last few years. Um, the quality around him is not good enough, which is why his performances over the last couple of years haven't been where they, you think they'd be. I've been defending him for that. All right. Even this, this international duty, uh, on press conference for a French reporter asking him to this. And I get this as a romantic thing in France. They want Zidane and Pogba to, to play together. And, and I get all that. There's enough French obsession and I'll get that. But Paul, all you have to say is I'm a Manchester United player. And that's that. You didn't have to entertain any idea of you play, playing for Real Madrid. Okay. You could even say, I would love one day to play with uh, under Zinedine Zidane. You could have even said that. You didn't have to say the club Real Madrid, especially not I dream to play for them one day. It's just unacceptable. And now I'm just officially, for me, this is the, the line in the sand for me. I'm, I'm officially over Pogba. There's just, for me, there's no coming back from this. <clears throat> The disrespect from Paul Pogba to Manchester United is comical. Absolutely comical. And this is the second time he's come out publicly and said something. Remember last summer, he came out and said, I'm after a bigger challenge. A bigger challenge. What, Manchester United taking him from sixth to the back to the top last summer wasn't big enough. It was a bigger challenge going to Real Madrid, huh? They've just won three Champions League in the last five years. They're champions from last year. It's a bigger challenge, that is, huh? Taking the piss, mate. Paul Pogba is taking the absolute piss. <clears throat> like I said, my issue is with Man United and not Pogba over this one. Because to further prove how... The people, the pathetic people running Manchester United are. The question I've got for them, or for you guys as well, is what are Man United going to do about this? I'll tell you what. Man United are going to do absolutely nothing about this. I promise you one thing though, all right? Not only are they going to do nothing about this situation on Pogba and his comments, they're going to offer him a bigger contract than before. I can see it now. Ed Woodward's got his lawyers running around and <clears throat> add a few extra zeros here. Paul, stay with us. I can see Ed Woodward getting on his knees with an a envelope to Paul Pogba. Here's a contract. Stay with us, please, Paul. <clears throat> and that right there is fundamentally why Man United won't be anywhere near the top anytime soon. Look, as a fan, I don't hate Paul Pogba. Hell, the next time he puts on a United top, I'll be supporting him. 
like I do the team week in, week out. But, like I said, my issue is with Man United and not Pogba. Whatever your opinion is on Pogba and this situation, Manchester United, as a football club, isn't what it used to be. Facts.